How's it going everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder where we talk all things Marvel and everything Marvel Cinematic Universe and we only have a few more days until the WandaVision finale. And for those of you who were asking, the ninth episode is going to be the finale. There is no 10th secret episode coming. That was just a rumor going around but Marvel did confirm today that episode 9 is going to be the finale. And there are still so many questions that the fans want answers to including who exactly is this aerospace engineer? Monica Rambeau in the middle of the season said that she knew an aerospace engineer and we never met that engineer. So who could this mysterious aerospace engineer be? Many fans were hoping for Reed Richards and that is definitely a possibility that we're going to talk about in this video, but who else could it possibly be? And could it also be Paul Bettany trolling us? We'll break down every single character that it could be in this video. But if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest WandaVision or Marvel videos. So for those of you who may not know, Paul Bettany teased that he worked with an actor in WandaVision that he wanted to work with for a very long time. He said that they worked very well together and they had a lot of chemistry together, and that's really all he said since. Now, we assumed that it was going to be somebody older than him or around the same age as him, so we assumed that it was most likely going to be a villain, maybe Mephisto, Nightmare, but I now don't think those characters are going to show up. Now, spoiler alert for WandaVision Episode 8, we saw the white slash gray vision show up in the post credit scene. So was Paul Bettany actually talking about himself, working with himself in WandaVision? When WandaVision director Matt Shackman was asked about Paul Bettany's secret cameo statement, he said, I'm gonna let Paul Bettany answer that question. He dug himself this hole, he can get out of it. Now this is pretty vague and doesn't really answer any of our questions, but I would like to assume that Paul Bettany wouldn't troll us that hard. And there is still this mysterious aerospace engineer that we have yet to see. So it looks like this cameo could be the same person as the aerospace engineer, and not to mention Elizabeth Olsen did say that there is a Luke Skywalker level cameo coming. So let's hope that shows up in the finale, but in the meantime, who could this mysterious person be? Well, let's go over the list, and we'll start with the one that everybody wants it to be, Reed Richards. Mr. Fantastic of the Fantastic Four. Now, Reed Richards isn't just an aerospace engineer. He is many different things, and he is the smartest person in all of Marvel history. He's smarter than Tony Stark, Bruce Banner, Shuri. He's smarter than everybody, and that's why he's known as the smartest man. But part of his knowledge and what he does is aerospace engineering. He actually built the spaceship that the Fantastic Four went to space in, and that is definitely aerospace engineering. So to think that Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four or could be this mysterious aerospace engineer is not wrong at all. Especially if you consider this. Only months ago, Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios during Disney's Investor Day, came out and announced that the Fantastic Four is currently in development, and right now they are working on a feature. This means that things are rolling for the Fantastic Four, and they most likely have figured out who they want to play Mr. Fantastic, Sue Storm, aka the Invisible Woman, the Thing, and the Human Torch. So if they have the actors ready who are going to play the Fantastic Four team, which it does seem like they do since Kevin Feige said they're working on the feature right now, it's entirely possible that John Krasinski perhaps could make an appearance as Mr. Fantastic in WandaVision. And this could set up the Fantastic Four for future films like Ant-Man 3 and of course their own solo film. Now, of course, there are other huge characters that could show up like Magneto or Professor X, which we'll talk about in just a minute. But another person who could fit the title of aerospace engineer is Blue Marvel, a.k.a. Adam Brasher. Adam Brasher is of super genius intelligence, and according to Reed Richards' Mr. Fantastic himself, Adam's intelligence matches Dr. Doom's, which is pretty dang smart. Now, Adam Brasher is a genius in the field of theoretical physics, so he's not exactly an aerospace engineer, although the MCU could say that he is in fact an aerospace engineer, or that's part of what he does. Kind of like Mr. Fantastic, he's a genius all around. But the big connection here is not only the fact that he's a genius, it's the fact that Adam Brasher actually is in a relationship with Monica Rambeau in the comics. So this would make perfect sense. Monica Rambeau knows an aerospace engineer. This aerospace engineer could be somebody that she is romantically involved with, and it could very well be Adam Brasher. This would introduce yet another new superhero to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Blue Marvel. However, there is yet another genius out there that I don't think a lot of people have been talking about who could be this mysterious aerospace engineer, and that is Hank McCoy, aka Beast. 
Hank McCoy is actually one of the eight smartest people in the Marvel Universe, and not a lot of people realize this. Hank McCoy has six PhDs. He has designed and built Cerebra for Professor X, and he's designed and built a time machine. And not to mention that he's the X-Men's resident technological and medical genius. And this does include working on the X-Jet, meaning that he is somewhat of an aerospace engineer. Again, in the MCU, they could kind of say that he's anything. One of his PhDs could be in aerospace engineering. So he could definitely be the aerospace engineer. And if you are looking to introduce the X-Men into the MCU, this would be kind of a perfect way to do it. Kevin Feige did say that WandaVision could be a gateway to the X-Men. And in WandaVision Episode 8, we found out that Wanda actually had powers all along, meaning that she could have had the X-Gene inside of her this whole entire time, and mutants could already exist in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So if you don't want to go down the route of Wanda created the mutants with her hex, but in fact they were in the MCU this whole time, this would be a great way to introduce the mutants by introducing Hake McCoy, aka Beast. Now, let's go ahead and act like Paul Bettany wasn't talking about this engineer. Perhaps we'll never see this engineer. Even if it is Reed Richards, maybe they'll just drop his name, but we won't actually see him. So let's assume the engineer and the cameo that Paul Bettany is talking about from the idol that he wants to work with is a different person. Right now, the two best bets for the actors and characters showing up are Patrick Stewart's Professor Xavier and Ian McKellen's Magneto. Now, if we're going to go the multiverse route, this would make sense that one of these two actors would show up. We know that Kevin Feige met with Patrick Stewart about reprising his role as Professor Xavier in the MCU. Now, Patrick Stewart said that he declined, stating that he said goodbye to his character in Logan, but that's because he didn't want to undo the character's death. However, if the multiverse is going to be involved, which we know it will be because we are getting Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and WandaVision does lead up right to it, then Patrick Stewart could definitely return and reprise his role as Professor Xavier one last time for a secret cameo. Now, we say Professor Xavier because Patrick Stewart already met with Kevin Feige. However, what makes the most sense is Magneto. In the comics, who Wanda's parents are are actually kind of a big deal. She finds out that the parents who raised her aren't her actual parents. And in one storyline, it was revealed that Magneto was her father. And considering how great of an actor Ian McKellen is, it would make sense that Paul Bettany would want to work with him or Patrick Stewart. I should also note that Al Pacino is somebody that Paul Bettany has said that he's always wanted to work with. So, it could be him playing a mysterious character that we don't know. And of course, again, there is always the fact that Paul Bettany could simply be trolling us and he could be talking about himself. We're on the finale now, and it's hard to imagine that they're going to add more characters into this since we don't even have a final battle yet. But we have to remember that there is a post credit scene, and this could very well be when we see this surprise secret cameo. And since WandaVision connects to Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and Spider-Man No Way Home, we can probably assume that it's going to set one of those two movies up. I personally am hoping for either Reed Richards or Magneto to show up, but let me know who you would like to see in the comments down below. Who do you think is going to show up, or do you think Paul Bettany was talking about himself? Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. Don't forget to like the video, and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.